Hello, my name is Carol Ann Weaver from Body and Soul Companion, and you are on the sixth day of week 15 of the Spiritual Exercises of Ignatius. If you're doing this according to the liturgical year, going from Sunday to Saturday, it would be Friday. So depending on when Christmas is, you've adjusted this. Some it's every day of the week. So it starts on the fourth week of, if you're going Sunday to Saturday, it starts on the fourth week of Advent. That's how my schedule goes. But you don't have to do it according to that. What is great is if you want to do these previous meditations in the week and then save this meditation for Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. That's great. So what this is again, yesterday we did a repetition of the Incarnation Annunciation, the angel vis Gabriel visiting Mary, and the Nativity. Yesterday we did that all lumped together. I had references back to those contemplations. So this is again in a spiritual exercise, 121 to 126, Ignatius says again, to do a final repetition that will, quote, will be to bring the five senses, unquote, on the incarnation, annunciation, and nativity. And here's what's in the contemporary version. Draw me into your friendship. This last prayer, period of prayer is meant to be my own letting go. A total immersion of myself into the mystery of Christ's life. Just as when we try to enter into the experience of hell within the first week, and that um, way back, the first week, not first week of the first part one. So you can refer back to part one if you want to, but you don't have to, but it's an imaginative contemplation where you bring it all together. Um, just as you did... Um, uh, first week. So here too, it is not a matter of thinking new thoughts or of trying new methods of getting into the mystery. Rather, the notion is to build upon all the experiences which have been a part of my prayer. Again, it is akin to the passive way my bodily senses take in sights, smells, sounds, tastes, and feelings as an automatic datum for attention. The total felt environment of the particular mystery of Christ's life, in whatever way it can be most vividly mine, is the setting for this final prayer period. You know, it might be you going back to Handel's Messiah. I've, in the last, yesterday, I had a reference to, in the description, to Handel's Messiah. It might be you finding that prayer period uh, from the Annunciation, Incarnation, Annunciation to the Nativity, to the Shepherds, that whole big block, and just listening to the Messiah and totally immersing yourself. It might be reading the scripture again. Just, it's according to, this is what I love, the total felt environment of the particular mystery of Christ in whatever ways it can be most vividly mined. Is a setting for the final prayer period. I have a person that I've led through the exercises. She loves to write down the scripture and um, do it in a personal way. Um, I will put at the end of this video the different the prayer periods. Again, it'll be the same as yesterday. I will put the in the description the section of of the Messiah that this covers. And um, you can do whatever way you want to do it. Application of the senses. That's what it is. It's here, touch. You don't even necessarily need to read the scripture again because you pretty much know the story, I'm sure. The only thing that's different is the incarnation is how Ignatius helps you to imagine it. It's not in scripture, except for if you look at John 1 one through 16, looking at that section, or 15, or 
you're or 14, <laughs> 1 through 14, you're going to look at that and see in the beginning the was a word, the word was with God, the word was God. And that's where we take off from that imagining Jesus with God in heaven, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and imagining looking at the earth. So you could redo all those imaginative contemplations, whatever works for you. But it's a total immersion that's will bring the five senses. Try whatever way that works for you. And then at the end, um, have a colloquy, conversation with God. But it's about letting the Holy Spirit lead, guide, and speak to you in, in the passage. It's about um, left brain, right brain. It's not about insight, about the incarnation, annunciation, and nativity. It's about encounter. So I pray a blessing of encounter with God. In Jesus' name.